All right, so Black Ops 4 apparently runs on 20 hertz servers. And back in the beta, it ran at 60. What's up, guys? It's Jack, and welcome back to another video. And uh, yeah, I wasn't really expecting to make this kind of video, and I sure as hell wasn't fully expecting this. I first heard about it, I think, uh, last night. And lo and behold, a whole ton of people are making videos about this. And I know that, um, that I'm really, really small on this whole YouTube thing compared to some of these other guys that are making videos, and there's only going to be more videos to come. Everybody's going to be talking about this, and I just want to do my part, you know? Even though sometimes here on YouTube, uh, I feel like it feels like the equivalent of me being, uh, me being in a locker room full of black men with their huge-ass dongs walking around all over the place, and here I am in the middle of that locker room, that small, teeny, tiny little white boy with his teeny, tiny little pecker. But you know what? Every inch counts, so therefore every view counts, and we got to get the word out there, man, because quite frankly, uh, it really is unacceptable in this day and age, especially for a first-person shooter, and especially for a first-person shooter with a success like Call of Duty, and as big as Call of Duty, and as popular as Call of Duty now, uh, to basically downgrade like that. And for whatever reason that they did this, it really doesn't matter all that much. I mean, because last for the last three Call of Duties or so, we've been running on 60 hertz, and I think uh, it was before even World War II, quite frankly, because the thing is, in World War II, they just made it, they just pretty much announced it in World War II, because World War II needed all the push that it could get, especially after all the all the hate people gave Sledgehammer after uh, Advanced Warfare. So, um, I think it was uh, implemented originally back in, sometime during the Black Ops 3 uh, life cycle, I believe. And it sure felt like it too, because uh, some, uh, the beginning of Black Ops 3 for me personally felt a little, um, a little bit rough. Uh, but then after a while, it just felt really, really smooth. And uh, it's the, if you're a Call of Duty fan, the difference definitely, uh, definitely is noticeable, especially if you play the game for a long time. And uh, quite frankly, uh, the 20 hertz and everything explains a lot. And I do stand by what I said on my last video, where I was talking about how the, uh, the lag compensation and all that kind of bullshit is pretty much the same on both consoles on Xbox and PS4. And uh, because quite frankly, it it is. I mean, every, everything is running on 20 hertz on, on all cylinders. I don't think uh, it was basically all the data from the video, the original video that everybody's, you know, taking their information from, uh, said that it was tested on PS4, PS4 Pro, and the PC, but I'm pretty sure it's the same on Xbox. I mean, why, <laughs> why would it be any different, right? Uh, but, uh, but yeah, the thing is that it simply is unacceptable, and we need to uh, we need to spread the word out there. And speaking of PlayStation, by the way, this is uh, uh, gameplay footage from PS4. By the way, I'm sure some of you might be might have been curious of when I would post PS4 footage. Well, here you go. Um, I know it from a gameplay perspective, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but uh, but yeah. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's keep uh, let's keep talking about this. So, if you're watching this video and I don't know how many views this video will get. It might get a lot. It might get my average views, it might get less. I don't know. Who knows? With this whole YouTube thing, I mean, you just never know sometimes. But um, whoever sees this video, tweet it out. Uh, spread the word because nothing nothing spreads quite like the word of mouth, especially when it comes to the internet. The internet is very powerful in that sense too. And if we make our voices heard uh, long enough and passionately enough and consistently enough, uh, they're going to have to make this change sooner or later. And And as of right now, we're already off to a good start, and within the next, I'm guessing, within the next 24 to 36 hours, we're going to get quite a lot of, uh, quite more videos about this from both small YouTubers and big YouTubers alike. People are going to be tweeting about it, people are going to be talking about it, and the fact is that it's just simply unacceptable. we got to just spread the word out there, and if you spread the word, um, I know it's hard sometimes because we Call of Duty fans are passionate, especially with the way we feel, but please do your absolute best to remain level-headed about it, and what I mean by this is... Don't tweet out at Activision and Treyarch and saying, fuck you guys, f you know, you, what, what the fuck this, what the fuck that, you tiny dick, limp dick motherfuckers and all that. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be civilized. You gotta at least get the word out there and try to be respectful because they're not, they're, once they see that, they're not even gonna listen, pay attention to the whole sentence because they don't, they don't need that. I mean, they already get, you know, these guys are used to getting enough as it is. They're not gonna, they're not gonna tolerate that shit. So at least the point is for them to at least read the message and if they get enough messages that's what's going to make the difference because quite frankly it's uh it's it's what needs to happen these guys need to get the message it's simple as that and that's the start of everything and uh hopefully in time in due time this will change um and hopefully in the back of my mind i keep on telling myself this that this is a, a temporary thing 
because maybe they just did it so that way we wouldn't have a server breakdown like we did with World War II at launch. But it's been over a week now, and um, and I know the population and the popularity is really high and everything like that, but uh, this still needs to be fixed, especially if the game is going to survive in the long run. And we're not just talking from a multiplayer, uh, from, from a Black Ops perspective as well, but we're talking about multiplayer as well. And there's also the pro scene, which, as you guys know, uh, the the developers as well as Activision and stuff like that, they have a really big heart on for the pro scene, quite frankly, because it generates more money and more popularity and revenue. So if online tournaments and stuff like that are going to take place under 20 freaking hertz, that's a serious problem. And uh, it's really it really sucks that... This this is basically like a huge step backwards. It's like Call of Duty in terms of the game itself took a really big step forward. Campaign was a, a step backward, but in comparison to the combination of the multiplayer innovation as well as Blackout and Zombies taking all these steps forward, um, you know the the campaign. Although it's a, it sucks that there's no campaign, but uh, in in the other ways of the game they've taken a big step forward. But then all of a sudden we get shit like this. It's like you know. If you look at it from just about every single perspective, it, it really sucks, and it's a really big step back. And this is not what Call of Duty needs right now. If Call of Duty is going to grow, and if the community is going to grow, uh, which is ultimately is what what makes Call of Duty, then uh, things need to be things need to be up to date in terms of today. And gameplay comes first. Graphics are obviously a secondary thing. You know, at this point right now, the game looks fine. I mean, it's not it's nothing special to brag about or anything, but. Gameplay is what should and should always come first, and it's been like that forever since the beginning of video games in general. So, uh, so let's get the 20 hertz. Uh, let's get rid of the 20 freaking hertz and go back to 60, and then we can start talking about other things instead of this bullshit. So anyway, guys, spread the word, do it in a civilized manner, and that's it. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know what you what I can do to make my videos better. I'll catch you guys on the next one.